Let's talk about micro dwarf tomatoes. Now you'll see here some of them look a little iffy. This one actually, don't mind him, he was a uh, lost cause and I just kind of stuck him in there to see if he makes it. And he probably won't, but that's besides the point. Some of them are a little wilty. Now I was letting them dry out a little bit before I gave them a watering because this time I'm actually fertilizing them. Now as I said, these are all micro dwarfs, and these are fairly small planters. I got um, a set of three stacked planters, so I got a little micro dwarf tomato planter. And we've got Warren here with us today, and Minnie. Anyways, again micro dwarfs. Um, I will go over some of the ones that I've got in here today. If we can move the kitty tail. This one here is a rosy finch micro dwarf and I've got a couple plants here. Focus that in. A couple of those there. Let's see here and this one this one is orange hat flowering quite well down here we have pygmy micro there's two plants in there flip it around some these two i'm not even going to pronounce the name i will have to include the name in the description but um these plants up here this one and these several ones up here they are all the same and they're kind of uh they're all a little on the leggy and truthfully they look a uh, they look really ratty to be honest you see them and then you see the orange hat for example how how large and bushy well they're tiny but how large and bushy it is for its size and these are just kind of leggy looking but here's the thing all right, Minnie, you gotta sit down, lady. Thank you. The thing about these, they're already fruiting. Look at that. Isn't it adorable? These are the first tomatoes of the season here. And then on this side, same type. Look at them. Same type of tomato. Let's see what variety we have here. This one is Chibico. Chibico. Micro. Can't really say it. I'm probably just butchering the name. Now this one, I would say he's probably 8 inches tall. And he has, let's see here, lots of little buds. Let me see, man. Right there. We see lots of little buds popping up. Lots of little flowers over here, lots of buds. So he's doing great. Now this one down here, he is either a pygmy micro dwarf or Pinocchio orange. I think this one is probably Pinocchio orange though. Lots of flowers, lots of buds. Very healthy looking. And this is the other Pinocchio orange down here. I'm sorry, I have the neediest cats in the world. But this one, like I said, I believe is another, this one is Pinocchio orange. And he looks a little sad. He just needs water. That's all it is. He just needs some water. Let's see if there's any that I missed in this tower. I think that was all of them. But, 
these little these little planners they're really cool you can get them for a dollar at the dollar tree so this whole thing cost me thirty dollars it was it this tiny little micro dwarf tomato tower isn't it just the cutest thing a micro dwarf tomato tower i just absolutely love it but you can get them for a dollar at the dollar store i put some um i believe i put potting mix in here it may have been bed soil it was one of the two i I use them interchangeably. It just depends on who has what when. I just take what I can get, whatever this, whatever is the best price, because tomatoes are going to grow in either. But like I said, today I'm actually going to fertilize them. So here I have my fertilizer water. This cat is the biggest lover there is, I swear. Very needy. Very loving. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing about cats. I'm sorry, but they're cute. So let's water. Water everybody on this side. And it does slow downwards, but I'm still just uh, watering everybody. I did not have to drill any holes at all. I absolutely love my micro dwarf tomato tower. I can't wait to show you guys what kind of yields I get out of this.